day, good day, good day, and welcome to another Teach and Learn in Korea and Korean Experience video. And today we're going to talk about a couple of things. But first off, um, <clears throat> I have, while I was in Korea, I made a bunch of uh, vlogs. Uh, I think it was once a week, maybe twice a week, where I made some vlogs, video logs, of my experience in Korea. So moving forward, I'm going to watch that for you on a video. I'm going to obviously like skip ahead in certain parts when we're talking about random, when we're not talking about Korean experiences. We're going to skip ahead in some parts. We're going to condense them down. They're going to be not re-uploaded, but they're going to be, I'm going to watch them with you guys. And then I'm going to like comment on them if there's any comments necessary. And it's going to be a bit of a shorter videos, but you know, just uh, lifting the important bits, uh, from my Korean experience, which is basically just me rehashing some things and all of that, but not rehashing, but me basically talking about videos. Like, I'll watch the videos and then uh, I'll react to them and like, oh yeah, this happened there. I'll add some extra details. And just to let you know, it's going to be very cringy because that was in the beginning of my content creation career. And um, I've literally, I think I've grown a little bit. So we'll see how that works. I think we, I've grown a little bit. Sound has improved definitely way more than it was in those previous videos. So just be prepared from next videos going forward. It's going to be a lot of like older videos and me being shaved and on short hair and everything and uh, all of that. So I'm just preparing you for that. But this is about... Another talk excursion. I don't know if some of the events, I don't know if it happened on this talk excursion or another one, but I remember this very clearly. So, as a man struggling, as a person struggling with motion sickness, I've got um, ways around it. You know, I've got ways around it. And um, the big thing... The big thing with the ways around it is take your medicine, your Korean um, anti-motion sickness medicine, which was usually like a tiny bottle of liquid and some tablets. So I'd usually like, if I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on a massive bu bu bus trip. When I, when talk, um, when talk organizes stuff like that, I make sure I've got like six of these bottles of liquid, like little things you drink. And about one, um, like six or seven tablets that I drink before I get on a bus, you know. So that is essentially what I do. And um, the big thing is just like, you know, I control my thing. I control my motion sickness. I'm, I'm in control of my body. And I know if I feel shit, I know what to do, you know, breathing techniques, whatever. I know how to handle it. So this one talk excursion, um, before we go to the talk excursion, let me just tell, show you a photo of a very unhappy Zaffa um, in Gochang as it's getting hotter and hotter. This was about, I think the temper. I remember distinctly like the morning it's, it's sort of perfect weather, but it was slightly hot. As you can see, I'm very angry there. Or I'm like, Ugh. but it was very, I was walking. I was, I ordered a pizza and I walked back to my house. So the pizza at the pizza place that I used to order, um, which was about a five to 10 minute walk to the pizza place. And I would, um, I'd order the pizza and I walked back that specific day. And I'm like, this is a perfect day. Unfortunately, it's 12 degrees Celsius. It's getting hotter. Yes, the, the day previously was like 10 or 9. Now it's getting hotter. And I took that photo and I'm like, this is the perfect day. I realize now that I don't look that happy. But, um, you know, it was getting hotter. That's why. But it was, a, it was a good day. But it was getting hotter. So just a quick side note there. So the trip that I went to, let me just quickly change this out. The trip that I went to, went on, was basically um, like a hiking trip organized by 
the talk program. And it was um, on this trip. I'm sitting there, you know, get on the bus, bunch of new talk scholars that I don't know, new people came in. This was about like a year and a half after I've arrived in Korea, basically, after I started teaching in Korea, you know. So I was used to the Korean stuff and they were a bunch of uh, new talk scholars that was like all excited about everything. And I get on the bus and I'm like, I'm sitting here roughly just slightly more to the front than the back. So in the front middle part of the bus so that if I need to get off, if we get off, I can get off quickly and just breathe. and like, okay, I don't have motion sickness. You know, I work with plans like that. So I'm sitting there and it's quite a long trip. I can't remember how long the trip was, but I know I slept quite a lot. So I get on the bus, I've taken my medicine and everything, and I'm like, ah. And I've got like this coat on, this big giant, you know that uh, mess, the, the video where I told you I took the photo, uh, the last photo I sent to my friend before he committed suicide? I took that photo, uh, I took that jacket with me, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to pass out. So it's got big pockets on the sides and inside and everything. I've got my little... Um, man bag, you know, my little man purse or whatever you want to call it. I've got that. And I'm like, all my necessary stuff is in there, my medicine, you know, the motion sickness stuff and everything. So I'm on the bus and I'm sleeping and I'm passing out. And I like literally I get up and I'm like, listen, I get motion sickness quite easily. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to sleep. So you can talk to me if you want to, but I'm not going to respond as well because I need to focus on not throwing up. And the girl next to me is like, yeah, no, it's okay, cool, it's fine. And I'm like, okay, and I pass out. We get to our destination. And I wake up, and I look around, and this girl next to me, she looks like death. She looks like death. And she's busy cleaning stuff up and everything, and I look at her, and I'm like, uh, okay. And she's like, I'm sorry, I threw up. And I'm like, wait, what? She's like, yeah, I threw up. And I'm like, okay. Now, me knowing my propensity for getting motion sickness, my motion sickness, I'm like, okay, what we need to do, I need to sort of breathe through my mouth. I don't want to smell any vomit or anything. I don't want to. Because if I smell it, I'm going to go boom you know i'm so now i'm in defensive mode i'm like no okay cool um <clears throat> it's okay so i look ahead of me and i'm like focusing focusing and we get off the bus and i'm like okay cool she threw up that's it now the big thing is so i'm sitting there look at my backpack i've got some peppermint sweet something that i can suck on to just get through things, you know, just to like sucking on a on a peppermint or eating a peppermint or just sucking on it, you know, sort of alleviates it in my mind, the motion sickness and whatnot. I'm like, okay, cool. And it's quite reasonably cold and I put my hands in my pocket and the pocket that was facing her, I put my hand in and I feel a liquid. And I take it out. And luckily we're outside the bus now and I take it out. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, okay, cool. Go to the closest shop, get stuff, get some mool tissue and whatnot, and start cleaning out my pockets, start cleaning. Look at my jacket. I'm like, oh, she like, basically there was some vomit on my jacket and into that, into the pocket. And I'm like, okay. So I start cleaning it off and I take mool tissues, uh, water tissues, uh, wet wipes, basically mool tissues. And I start cleaning it off and everything and I clean out the inside pocket and I it's spend a good five to ten minutes cleaning that out. Go in, get the Febreze fabric spray. That's sort of like in Korea if it's, um, oh, that's another thing. If in Korea, if it's winter, you don't get deodorant. You get Febreze spray to spray on your clothes. And I like almost empty an entire Febreze thing just on that section of my jacket. And I'm like, okay, everything, the smell is hidden. I'm going to get home and clean it up eventually, wash it out. But right now, it's cold. I'm wearing this jacket. And um, luckily, I had another hoodie underneath that wasn't affected by the vomit. So I basically left the jacket um, close to the entrance of the bus 
to the, to the the door of the bus so that it can breathe a little bit while you know we're walking around and we're hiking and we went on a hike to as the scholar students on Hyang Jok Bong Hyang Jok Bong right Hyang Jok Bong and um, it was quite beautiful and I'm I'm going to warn you get ready for some nature photos very amateurish nature photos that's like one of the things also before we 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 um i told my principal that i'm going on a hike there um and he's like he looked at me and i remember remember i was a fat fat guy very overweight or reasonably overweight according to korean standards i was really overweight and um he's like oh yeah you need to climb the you need to climb the peak and take a photo of the sign. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, but it's very difficult climb. Sort of telling me, listen, listen, you're probably not going to make it. And it is Dogyun, Dogyusan National Park. That's where the peak was. Hyangjokbong Peak. And um, I'm like, okay, you know, challenge accepted. Mr. Mr. Principal Man, challenge accepted. We're going to do this, and I'm going to show you, like, another... This is going to be a bunch of naturistic photos and stuff. Like, the. this is basically Korea at its most beautiful, right? At its most beautiful. And he's like, yeah, take a picture. But I could tell, like he said, take a picture of the sign. But I could tell he was like, haha, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Now, granted, this was... A very difficult hike, right? This was a very difficult hike. There you see another another shot. It it's just beautiful. There's a city down there, or town, or whatever down there. It's very. Um, it, it was a very beautiful hike, difficult but beautiful, you know. And um, you know another shot. As I'm walking, I'm just taking photos because I was like, at this time, I was like, okay, cool. You got to start taking photos, Zephyr. You got to start taking photos. And um, I think this is the another side. This is just me. I was like, you know what? You challenged me. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. You challenged me. I'm going to prove you you wrong so i started like taking because i wanted to show them like i'm walking up here that's why i took all these photos um and everything this was a talk outing and everything so i took all these photos just to prove to that vice principal that i'm actually walking up this mountain right and um uh hyung hyung jokbong hyung jokbong hyung jokbong yeah it's the peak um and, uh, oh, I might have mislabeled this. And uh, you know what? I was kind of proud of this. I'm kind of proud of this. Took all these photos, and I'm like, boom, baby. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. I was at the peak, freaking sweating, freaking ugh, tired, but I made it. And I'm like, ha. Huh. And I remember going, like, we went on, I think it was a Thursday or a Friday trip. We sort of had, like, a long weekend. So we took the Thursday off and the Friday. Or we went, we took the Friday off to go on this trip. And I'm like, boom, baby, look, I made it. I'm at that peak, right? I'm at that peak. I showed him this, and he's like, oh, oh. And I'm like, aha, you know? And then he's like, oh, but you probably, you probably ask someone to take the photo. I'm like... No, sir. I was there. Right next to the sign, I was there. Boom. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was the Hyangjokbong peak. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, someone in chat might, someone in the comment section might actually tell me I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's Hyangjokbong. And um, it was uh, it was a good experience aside from the throwing up the person throwing up I think it was this this section I know we went on an outing and it might either be the DMZ outing or this outing where the person threw up uh, no it was this this outing I think I think it was the same outing we went to two different places I think 
I have no idea how the Korean geography thing works. Uh, we might have just hiked this and the um, and the DMZ zone, uh, or close, uh, you know, the safer DMZ area. Um, and uh, yeah, this was uh, this was quite an experience. And in, like I said, in the next video, I'm probably going to talk about... The thing is, I don't want to talk about the DMZ area because that's closer to the end of my trip. So in the next videos, I'm going to start looking at the video logs I made. I'm going to start... I'm going to record them as I'm watching them with you guys. And um, I'm going to talk and pause and comment on them. That's the next set of videos. I'm thinking there's probably going to be another five or six videos before we get to the sad part and um, where I leave Korea, but um, we are going to do this, and uh, I'll probably be able to tell you more on the videos as we go through them. Uh, some of them is just basically what happens on my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel, but most of them is about my experience in Korea, because that's, you know, that was recorded, like, during those times, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's my throw up story my motion sickness story my freaking hyangjok bongs uh success and everything and uh, yeah that's it that's it that's it i can't freaking wait to tell you more about it i'm i'm actually looking forward to looking back on those vlogs because this is the first time i'm going to look at those vlogs in 6 years right in six years. Uh, well, obviously, I'm going to look at it to make sure what areas I'm going to look through them and make sure what I can, like, skip and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be the first time. So it's not, it's it's a semi-first reaction to those videos um, and everything. So this is, this was another teach and learn in Korea experience and uh, Korean experience video. Listen, I let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. I I really miss Korea, right? I might be looking back on it with rose-tinted glasses, but I really miss Korea. The country, the people, you know. Not um I do miss my friends. And I want to go back, and I want to go back, and I want to go live in Korea, not to try and meet up with old friends, but just to be in the country where I believe in my heart I belong, you know? Um, like this tattoo says, I'm just a tourist in my country of birth, you know? I'm just a tourist in my country of birth. I believe that either... Like, if you believe in reincarnation and previous lives and all of that, I think in a previous life, I was a Korean. Because the feeling that I got, the feeling that I still get when I think about it, the feeling that I got when I went to Korea, is that's home. You know? That is home. And it's kind of sad to come to think of it. It's kind of sad because, you know, I was born and raised in South Africa. This is supposed to be my home. But Korea felt more like home to me than South Africa. You know? And that's why I'm doing the Korean lessons. That's why I'm watching Korean movies. In fact, I watch Korean movies and series. Um, in fact, I watch that. And I, I find myself stopping midway through a series or whatever, usually, um, because I look at that and I see home. And then I get a little bit sad because I'm not home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a bit of a tangent, a bit of a sad thing. But I want to go back home one day. I really want to go back home. And yeah, that is a another talk, teach and learn in Korea experience. 
And I'll see you in the next video where I look at my previous vlogs in my apartment. And until then, you should have a good one. Please leave a like and comment. If whoever comments Hyang Jok Bong Peak, your comment will be pinned to the to top of the comment section if you've reached this far into the video. Your comment will be pinned to the top. So thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.